So we are going to dissect the specimen. Remember they told us to place it dorsal side uppermost and then cut along the right lateral line. So this is the right lateral line. I will cut along there up to the thorax. The next while dissecting, you cut the next time they might tell you to cut along the left, so you do that. Uh, so I'm going to pin the head so that it remains in position and then posteriorly as well. And next, I'm going to lift up this dorsal cuticle. Mm -hmm. So I've displaced the dorsal cuticle to the left and then I have pinned up. So what they required us to do from the question was to carry the digestive system and cut it out. So this here is the digestive system and I'm going to cut it out. The dorsal cuticle is to the left. Ventral cuticle remains in position. Then I'm lifting the digestive system to cut it out. And then I also cut at the rectum. So that, now what the question required me to do was to observe the features on the dorsal cuticle. The dorsal cuticle is this one, and then the ventral cuticle is the one this side. Uh, so when you look at the dorsal cuticle, to, let us focus on this one at the end. You can see the tubular heart. You can see the tubular heart, this line here, moving up. But then while, while drawing, I would expect you that you observe something like this or else carry out the dissection by yourself and then be able to draw the heart. You should take note of the shape. I, I think the shape comes out a little clearly. The shape of the heart, because what we have on the dorsal cuticle is the circulatory system. So when you look at the heart, from up here we have the iota. Then it comes descending into heart chambers. These heart chambers, now let me, let's see if we can focus clearly. You can see that they become thick. They become thick. Mm -hmm. Let's take note of the heart chambers and their shape. Then from the heart, the heart chambers, we have these white thread-like features, the alary muscles. And each alary muscle connects, a pair of alary muscles connects to one heart chamber, like we can see. You can see that. And each heart chamber is in one segment. So you have a segment. Now like this heart chamber here has got this alary muscle and this alary muscle. Yeah. Very clear. Yeah. And then the two alary, a pair of alary muscles attaches to a heart chamber, and each heart chamber ha ha is embedded in one segment. So I would expect that from your drawing. So, so we have, when you clearly see, sorry, we had to dismantle. Uh, you can see here on the ventral cuticle what we have. Is, this, is the coordination system. And these are the ganglia that we always draw. The ganglia. One is called a ganglion. And below here, this white substance is what we call the mushroom-shaped gland. Then below it, we have a thin ejaculatory duct. Just below it. But let us focus on the shape of the ganglia. Very clear. Uh, so, if we are to continue with our work, um, when the mushroom shaped gland covers some of the ganglia, like if I'm to open, 
if i'm to open closer you're able to see that when i push it backwards there are these ganglia below that it was covering and if i and the jejunctory duct is here very small i think it can be seen yes. but when i put it back you'll see that those ganglia are drawn so while drawing while making your drawings you'd expect you to account for that as well as the size of the ganglia when you look closely the ganglia in the thoracic region this one and this one and then there is one up here they are bigger in size and they keep on reducing as compared to the ones in the abdominal region so would expect that accountability in your work the mushroom shaped gland and the ejaculatory duct it's also very clear this tube like just below the gang just below the mushroom shaped gland uh, next in the thorax region we have what we have the thoracic muscles this here it's a little fleshy this is muscle it's an attachment for the legs so that's why it's found in the thoracic we have three muscles muscular tissues here and then here can you be focused mm -hmm. so these are the muscles these are the attachments of the leg to the where the legs attach mm, these are the thoracic muscles even this side where we've pinned through we have the thoracic muscles no, no. this as well is the thoracic muscle the attachments of the leg so i would expect you to draw this whole thing like we have studied it and name draw and label then we shall continue with the interactions in the comments section thank you so much for today have a nice day keep safe wash your hands uh, maintain social distance and we shall go through this safe and sound